aspiring online tutors, my name is Jill and I am an online tutor. And welcome to my channel where we talk about home-based jobs and online teaching jobs. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap that bell notification for you to be updated on my next videos. So for today's video, we will talk about the ways on how to be an online English tutor. And these are just five ways. So it's very basic and it's very easy. So if you want to know more, then please watch until the end of the video for you to learn more. Alright, so before we begin, let us first define some ESL terms. What is ESL? What is the difference between a non-native speaker and a native speaker? And what is a TEFL course or TFL certification? Alright, so first, let us define what is ESL. ESL stands for English as a Second Language. It means that if you will become an ESL teacher, you will be teaching students whose primary language is not English. For example, the country Japan. As we all know that Japanese main language or Japanese primary language is Nihongo. So, it means that English language is just their secondary language. Next, what is the difference between a native speaker and a non-native speaker? A native speaker are those teachers that their primary language is English. For example, Australian, Canadian, American. So their primary language is English, right? So they are called a native speakers. Whereas a non-native speaker are those like us, Filipinos. Our primary language is Tagalog and secondary language is English. So in short, native speakers are those teachers whose primary language is English. And non-native speakers are those teachers whose primary language is not English. Next, what is TEFL? TEFL stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. So if you are planning to go abroad or if you are planning to teach students whose primary language is not English, then you can get a TEFL course to be eligible to teach to those students whose primary language is not English, like Japan, Korean, Taiwan, Chinese. Alright, so I hope it's clear. Okay, now so let us start the five basic ways or five requirements on how to become an online English teacher. So first, you must have a complete and working equipment. So what are the equipment? First is a computer or a laptop. I highly recommend you to use Intel Core 5 and with a physical memory of at least 4 gigabytes. So that will work. Another equipment that is needed is a headset. And your headset should have a noise cancelling feature. If you don't have any headset with noise cancelling feature, then at least you might want to download those noise cancelling apps. Like the very famous one is Crisp. Okay, next is a camera. So you must have a clear and working camera. So your camera should be clear, hindi siya blurry, hindi rin siya foggy. Uh, yung sakto talaga, yung, your camera can be a built-in camera ng laptop mo or an external camera sa PC mo. Number two is you must have a stable and good internet connection. When we say stable, dapat hindi logi yung internet connection mo or hindi siya nagka-cutting in and out. Yung stable and good internet connection talaga. And I highly recommend you to upgrade at least 
3 Mbps or if you can have 5 Mbps then that would be better. But then again, it really depends on the ESL company that you are applying for. Third one, learn the basic English. So, learning English language, this is your best asset when you apply as an online English teacher. Because of course, you wanted to teach students English skills, right? So you must at least learn the correct sentence pattern, the correct grammar, and also the correct pronunciation. And the fourth one is you must search for an ESL company that fits your qualification. So ito yung sinasabi ko sa ibang aspiring online shooter. Huwag kayong apply lang ng apply ng ESL company na hindi naman nagbabasa ng mga requirements, qualifications. Because there are some ESL company that really requires an experience. So, paano kung wala kang experience? Paano naman kung wala ka pang um, ESL teaching experience kung beginner ka pa lang, first timer ka pa lang, ba? So, ang hirap maghanap ng ESL company na matanggap ng mga first timers or beginners. Kaya, sasabihin ko sa inyo mamaya kung ano yung mga tips kung paano ba makahanap ng mga ESL companies na tumatanggap kahit wala pang experience. Okay? Now, let's proceed to the last ways or the fifth way to become an ESL teacher. You need to pass the application process and requirements. So, ano ba yun? Those are the online interview, demo lessons, or passing an online test or exam. So, as we all know that ESL companies now requires mock demo lessons, online test or video test or online interview or self-introduction videos, ba? So you need to pass all of those application process or requirements for you to be hired as an online English teacher. So those are the five basic ways on how to become an online English teacher. So again, let's have a wrap up. First, you must have a complete and working equipment. Those are the laptop or PC, a camera, a built-in camera or an external camera, and the third one is a noise-canceling headset. Second one is you need to have a stable and good internet connection. So at least 3 Mbps or if you can upgrade up to 5 Mbps, then that would be better. The third one is learn the basic English because English language is really your key to become an online English teacher. Next, number four. You must search and look for an ESL company that fits your qualification. And the last one is you must pass the application process and requirements. So, ito yung mga mock demo lesson, online test or video test, or the interview, online interview. So now, I'll be giving you some tips for you to be hired as an online English teacher. So, number one. Get a free TEFL course or highly recommended talaga to sa mga first timers or beginners. Yung mga wala pa talagang experience sa ESL teaching. Get a free TEFL course. I have uploaded in my previous videos on how to get a free TEFL course. Walang bayad free lang and I've also included the answer keys but again just a reminder even if I have provided you the answer keys please be responsible as well to learn and study on your own kasi iba pa rin yung meron ka talagang natutunan diba? also I will include the link in the description box para ma-check mo later second tip Join an ESL group page. So, marami po dyan sa Facebook. Maraming mga ESL group pages. So, mali ka dyan. Join, join, join. As much as you want. As much as you can. Kasi makakatulong yan. 
para makahanap kayo ng mga ESL companies. Kasi yung mga group pages na yan, sila yung mga nagpo-post ng mga job hiring. Next, the third one. This is the last but not the least. And this is really, really important for you to acquire. And that is to practice. Okay, it's very simple. It's really a simple word. Practice, di ba? But it's hard to do. As we all know, marami tayong ginagawa sa buhay. Ang hirap mag-practice ng English. Ang hirap mag-practice ng online interview. Ang hirap mag-practice ng self-introduction videos. Pero if you really want to become an ESL teacher, you need to have a time to practice. Practice speaking. Practice having an eye contact while you speak. Practice your script or spills. Practice talking for you to become confident when you apply as an English teacher. Alright? So, I hope that you have learned something from this video and I really hope that this video helped you to become an ESL teacher. If yes, then please don't forget to like and comment down your suggestions for our next video or anything that you want to say. Before we end, I would just like to invite you again to please subscribe to my channel and tap that bell notification for you to be updated on my next videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on my next video. Have a great day. Bye!